Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the Lumerian plug and how long you've been using it and what you've experienced with it? How I uh, came across it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, in my in my um, internet searches, I stumbled on it. Who knows? You know, we are led in directions and to places uh, you're not necessarily looking for, but uh, interesting topics appear and then they catch your interest and you go down that rabbit hole and see where it takes you. So I, I heard about this Lemurian plug and the story was from an unlikely source. This was a an Australian professional tennis player. He played for the Aussies in the 1952-55 Wimbledon championships. And then for the rest of his life he was a coach, a professional tennis coach. At this point he was living in New York and he had a small vitamin supplement stores that athletes would want to supplement. Very tiny shop on 78th Avenue or something. And one day this man appears in his store And the man says to Jeffrey, I don't know why I'm here. I was led here. I took the subway. I took a couple of buses and here I am. And I don't really know why I'm here. So Jeffrey said, well, that's very interesting. That's never happened to him before. That stranger appears and says, I'm just here, but I don't know why I'm here. So they got talking a little bit. And the fellow says, I'm on my way to the stadium, New York, where there's a large health expo. And I wonder if you'd mind coming with me. And since he had nothing better to do, he said, okay, I'll come with you. Again, unusual behavior, you know. So they went and on the way there, he said, I'm going to get up and I'm going to give a talk on crystals. It won't be long. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to sit down and I want you to keep an eye on the lady who's going to get up and she's going to come to the dice and give a talk. Don't take your eye off her. So he went up and he gave his talk on crystals and then he sat down and Jeffries cut his eyes on this lady. She gets up, she takes off her glasses. Her limp is gone, she had a limp. Gorgeous, vivacious. She get, goes up to the dice, talks. And the first thing out of her mouth was, I'm a Lemurian and I came here to give you some uh, technology if you're ready for it. Now, when she said she was a Lemurian, I started digging, uh, got further into the story and I said, what does that mean? Well, you have to go back to Atlantis and Lemuria who had self-destructed 12, 13,000 years ago. So what is the timeline on that? Is Atlantis before Lemuria or? Uh, you're stretching over thousands of years. The two of them were antagonistic mm. in a sense. But Atlantis was the last to sink beneath the ocean. And they had both acquired technology which allowed them or caused them to sink into the sea because they used it negatively rather than positively. We always have a choice. We get technology and we can use it positively or we can use it negatively. Look what we do in our civilization. The first thing we do is we weaponize a new technology. War, you know, instead of peace. Right. You know, we're a good example. And there are many knowledgeable people knowledgeable people saying that uh, we're again reaching a technological crisis because we have uh, such high technology now that the dark cabal has developed and are using militarily that the rest of us are unaware of. UFOs flying around, going to Mars, going to the moon, off-world civilization. All of that has been hidden from us. We're not supposed to know anything about that. And if anybody mentions this, they 
they say we're conspiracy theorists, you know. Right. They, and we've been trained yes. to automatically shame yeah. each other if yeah. we talk about these and, concepts. And uh, people don't know that the word conspiracy theorist was created by the CIA back in 1967 to counteract any people who are acquiring knowledge that they don't want people to have. So they, they just brand you, you're a conspiracy theor uh, uh, theorist. And that's to poo poo you, not to take you seriously. And that's worked for a lot of years, since 67, but more and more people are waking up now and they don't fall for that trap anymore because, because of the technology, because of smartphones, we can access information now that we couldn't back in 67. So if anybody is really interested, I'm going to get to the bottom of this, you can acquire a lot of information <laughs> with your cell phone that um, people didn't have access to 15 years ago. Right. Okay. So the world is changing, it is ch changing very rapidly, but the, the negative to that, there is positive and negative to both sides, is that we have to be cautious that the people who want to use this new technology, that they don't use it in a destructive way. And as we look out, that's really what it is we're seeing. They're, the military is weaponizing. They've weaponized YouTube and Facebook and all of that was told to us that was it keep us socially together and we can communicate with one another and how wonderful it is. Now we're discovering it's a weapon used against us. We have no privacy at all anymore. They know everything about us more than you realize, more than you know about yourself because they're keeping track of it. Right. And so, people are lonelier than ever yes. as well. Yeah, so you have people living in the world down in the basement <laughs> in their parents' home because they can't afford to go out and uh, socialize and, and they don't have a job, you know, and they're on the computer so they can get into a world, a technological world, and create this virtual world that they're living in to the extent that when they do meet other people, they have a hard time relating to them or talking to them or carrying on a conversation because they're they're living in their own bubble. That's the scary part, you know. So it's, this is the negative side of that's technology. That's the negative side. So back to the lady that stood up and said she was yeah. from Lemuria. How did she get here and what was her explanation? Ah, wish we would know. If we're talking about a civilization that was here 12, 13,000 years ago and self-destructed, you have to realize that they had technology far, far in advance of anything that we know of today, in every conceivable way. So, she just appeared. She never answered questions. She was here for about four or five months. She met Jeffrey and Jeffrey's friend who was very knowledgeable in crystals and, and working with crystals. So because of that, she arranged for her to meet Jeffrey and her friend and to pass on this information of the Lemurian plug. Now what it, ex what it exists is that or the origin of the, of the Lemurian plug is a crystallized plate with four or six specific colors on this crystallized plate. And it's the colors tra that transmits the frequencies that go into the Lemurian plug. The Lemurian plug is just a plastic piece and it has some diodes and some resistors inside and a little, um, a little plate. But if you take it apart and look at it, 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 it's nothing. People have taken it apart and said, oh, it's a rip-off, you're being scammed, you know, blah, blah, blah. They, kn they know everything that it's no good. Never having experienced it, never having tried it, but they know for sure that you're being scammed, you see. But you'll find that anybody on, on uh, the Internet will do that. If something comes along and they think that it's a scam, they're they're going to tell you it's a scam without having done any research, knowing anything about it. Unfortunately, you know, you can't take these people too seriously. So anyway, so she gave Jeffrey's friend this, this technology. She, she said, these frequencies 
make everything that is man-made better and most of all it neutralizes toxins mm. now in our world we're filled and surrounded by toxins in water in air in our food everything you use has toxins in it you can't get away from it thousands thousands of toxins and they're adding thousands every year more into our environment so by toxins, are you referring to like man-made chemicals? Yes. Okay. Yes. Toxins which are harmful to the human body. So physical toxins and then energetic? All. It, it covers the whole range. So when I read that, that really caught my attention. Not only does it also neutralize EMFs, and people want to know, well, how does it do that? people have exotic electrical instruments to measure frequencies and when they try to get a reading on the Lemurian plug nothing nothing shows up okay so they jump to the conclusion well it can't work because my see my meter I spent three thousand dollars for this this exotic frequency reader and nothing's happening yeah of course nothing's happening because we're dealing not with regular frequencies. It doesn't block any of the EMF frequencies coming into our house. But what it does, it transforms, it transmutes them and makes them harmless. Within five feet, when you put the Lemurian plug on your cell phone, you transfer the energies into your cell phone. Five feet around you, your cell phone, you have these neutralized energies. You're protected. So can you explain the mechanism of how that is getting into the cell phone? Where is that going in the phone? It, no, no. We can't clearly explain that because we're talking quantum mechanics. We're talking in the quantum field now where time, space, and distance are not relevant. It's instantaneous. Between here, a proton right here in my body is connected to a proton another galaxy away. Instantaneously, they are in contact with one another. There's no time, no distance, no space when you get into the quantum field. Mm -hmm. So you have to make a shift in your thinking from linear Newtonian physics, mechanistic, mechanical, beginnings and ends, and we're in the middle somewhere. No, 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 forget that. We're, we're, we have to go to the next phase. Quantum field, quantum mechanics, where things happen instantaneously. There's only the, the eternal moment, the eternal now. That's all there is. No past, no future. Everything is happening simultaneously right now. And that's difficult for us to comprehend because we're trained. Oh, I started here. I was born here in such and such a time and year. And I may die, and you know, it's, and then we find ourselves on this timeline. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that's nice. That's that's fine. But it doesn't really work. Reality doesn't really work that way. Everything works simultaneously. And to give you a further idea, the we live in a virtual world of illusion. What we think is reality is nothing but vibration. And energy it's not material so why does it hurt when we hit a solid object and it hurts us why does it feel solid well because it's matter that has lowered its frequency to such a point that it assumes physicality right dense energy but low low vibratory energy how dense is a thought how solid is a thought less dense than a chair well yeah I mean you can't you can't hurt yourself and yet thoughts can hurt us thoughts can heal us you have to make that jump from physicality the next best thing we can comprehend is into the thought world that's the closest we can come to and thoughts are instantaneous how quickly can you think how fast does a thought move faster than light. Light's only 186,000 miles per second. That's slow. 
compared to the thought. You can think yourself to the sun instantaneously, and they say that the sun is 93 million miles away and takes eight and a half minutes for a light beam to come from the sun to the earth. Your thought doesn't take eight and a half minutes. You can think yourself right away to the sun. See, no time, no distance, instantaneous. So the next generation of people, when they learn about this, if they're being taught that, they're going to be worlds away from their parents and from their grandparents because it's a new new area and new physics that we're going into it's exciting it's it fascinates me you know so this this crystallized plate with the colors on it penny said penny she called herself penny take the pill bottles put them on your phone five minutes ten minutes leave them overnight what do you got to lose leave them overnight and it will neutralize all the toxins in the pharmaceuticals. Anything that is harmful to your body will be neutralized. They're still there, but they will not harm you. Mm -hmm. So a guy put, who was addicted to Advil, he had to take two of them a day for a painkiller. He put his Advil on the cell phone overnight. Next day, he took his two Advils and he said, it's not having the same effect. I had to take three of them to get the same effect. And Jeffrey said, yeah, that's because it neutralized a lot of the other stuff. So in order to get the same amount of Advil painkiller, you have to take three now. So there's a, a, a really crazy example of where we're benefiting the pharmaceuticals instead of going against them, you know. You have to take a little more. Right. But the good thing is it neutralizes the bad stuff in all the, in all the pills you take. So here's what the Lemurian plug looks like just a little plastic container with a, some resistors and diodes and a plate and a few wire connections and there's a looks like what you can plug something in here but it's disconnected it it doesn't serve a useful purpose so don't plug anything in there nothing works it's disconnected it's also disconnected from that Plugging that into an outlet is just a convenient way to get the plate inside here that has been charged by the master plate, crystallized, mm -hmm. to get it near the wires in the wall. And the frequencies from this plate, because it's near the electrical wires inside the wall, will transfer into the wire and make a complete circuit till it reaches the meter again and it takes it used to take 48 hours to charge the entire house now for some reason it's down to about 24 hours a day after a day your entire living space will be charged beneficially positively with these frequencies right so when you say that the whole house has been charged, how are you determining that? Is this information People from the People douse creators? it. They douse before uh, and it's negative spin. After the house is charged and they douse again, everything in the house has a positive spin. No more negative. Right. The entire living environment has been changed positively to a positive environment. You don't have to plug it in because there's no electrical connection when you plug it in really. It's just a convenient way to get this thing next to the wall. You can just tape it next to the wall, not to an outlet. It'll work the same way. Okay. In Europe, you can't use that. They have, they have 220 in Europe. Right. So that would overheat because it makes a contact with 120 volt in there. And it's safe because it's, 100, it's geared for 120 volt. But it really doesn't make a, an, a, a, an electrical contact as such. It's just a convenient way to get it near the copper wires in your wall so it can piggyback the frequencies into the wire. So why do you think it's happening so much faster now that it's making the whole house positive in 24 hours? A good question. I don't have an answer. Only by people who have been experimenting and testing it. From when Jeffrey first started testing it, he tested it on coffee, which is the most difficult to get a positive spin out of. Coffee will always have a negative spin, even after, and it took two days 
of charging the house and the coffee for the coffee to stop being negative and get a positive spin. But then people started experimenting with that and they said, no, it doesn't take two days anymore. I've tested it and then it takes about a day now. So Jeffrey said, well, perhaps. I don't know. You guys are the experimenters. How long has this been around? It's been around for essentially for 30 years, but it hasn't become active only till since 2016. And it's an interesting story how that happened. Uh, Jeffrey had been sitting on this because he's not a He's not a retailer, he doesn't know anything about that. He couldn't convincingly tell anybody about this that they would take him seriously. So he just sort of sat on it, you know. And as the universe often happens, when the time is right, something will happen. Somebody will come into your life. And what happened was exactly that. He was in a hot pool one day and he had this necklace with two triangles, different colored, and this lady walks by and she picked up on the energy. So she stopped and asked him, he's sitting in a hot pool, said, would you mind if I ask you about the necklace you're wearing? I'm feeling the energies from that. So he started talking about these energies. So uh, he said, I, well, I've got a plug that transmits these energies, but I can't sell them and I haven't tried to. And, the lady says, I'm going to have a meeting of ladies and I want you to show up with them, bring some and give a talk, give a talk about what this is about and let's see what happens. So he went and these ladies went crazy. They listened to his talk and they got it immediately. He said, oh, we'd like to buy one. He had about 30 of them. He says within about less than 10 minutes, he had sold all 30 of them and he could have sold more of them. They, the, the, the women are more intuitive. They, they hear a story and they have an intuitive way of internalizing whether you're messing with them or whether it's the truth you're speaking to them. Men are more logical, scientific, they want to know how does this work, you know. And, and it's hard to get past a lot of men with that mindset. But the women, they bypass that, they go straight into the right side of the brain and they work with intuition, with their gut feeling. And they know a BSer when, when somebody opens their mouth and talks to them. You know, they're built that way. You know, there's a reason because they're, they have to look after the children. They have to raise the children. They have a very important job to do in this world. The, the men have to go out and kill the boar and drag him home, you see. <laughs> so women are built naturally. They have this intuitive uh, response that is... For those who practice it, uh, it's, it's, it's a powerful instrument, you know, when they learn to use it properly. Have you tried to open it? Yeah, yeah, there's pictures on YouTube, you guys have opened it. <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing there, just some diodes, some resistors, a few wires are connected to the diodes and the resistors, a plate. You know, uh, nothing there. So people test it, the logical, the scientific guys. Oh, this is a scam. Well, yeah, if you look at it that way, absolutely. But you won't convince me and 5,000 other people that it's not a scam. And for, uh, it's $35 in the States plus $7 shipping. It's a pretty cheap scam if, if, if you're going to be scammed. A lot of people have been scammed for a lot more than that, you know. So take a chance and see what happens. It's not a scam. Mm. I've, I've been messing with it now for several years. Uh, Jeffrey died October 17. We're into almost October 19. He's almost been dead two years and he's the guy who intrigued me when I came across him. So, it neutralizes all toxins. Wow, if it didn't do anything else, it'd be a godsend. Mm -hmm. Because we have toxins everywhere. So, as a result of that, I neutralize all my drinking water, all the food that comes into the house. 
I have old cell phones strategically placed all over. I bet you I've got 10 or 12 old, and I buy new ones for $15 off eBay. You know, little card phones, cell phones? And I don't care that it's a cell phone. I'm just interested in does it hold a charge? And I can put another cell phone on there and put the charge into the cell phone. Now it has the charge. I can put it on my food. I can drop it into my shopping basket. So you're saying that those phones are picking up that frequency yes, and hold from it. that and, and hold it. Because hold it. it can hold a battery charge? No, it works. There's a cellular component. Right. And it takes a battery to power that cellular component. And when that is present, the frequencies will be held by the cell phone. It won't work on a, let's say there are tablets that are cell phone tablets, cell tablets, and Wi-Fi tablets. It won't work on a Wi-Fi tablet. Really? Yeah, it has to have that cellular component. Mm. If it's a cell phone or a cellular tablet, it will hold the frequency. If the tablet is only Wi-Fi, it will not hold the frequency. So there's something don't ask me. Jeffrey didn't know. We don't know. This is from, from a technology that's way, way, way beyond us. Now, that's an interesting question. Uh, Jeffrey said that they had given the Lemurian plug to MIT professors to figure out how and why this works. So they messed around with it and they came back. You know what their answer was? We know it works, but we can't tell you why it works. We do not have the technology or the science that can prove this, but we know it works. MIT is about as big as you can get in science. Those guys know what they're talking about. They said it works, but we, we, can't, we can't tell you. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> For a scientist to admit that. So, that what intrigued me was, thank you. If it neutralizes toxins, it's going to be my friend. Because they're everywhere. And I neutralize all my water, all my food. Everything is touched, is activated with, with the frequencies here. So, lastly, can we... Uh, so, what's a practical a trick that people can... Because what you... I saw what you did was you... Um, affect the phone by attaching two together yep. so that phone can technically contact other phones yes, absolutely. to neutralize their family's phones yeah ad infinitum yeah yeah so, so so globally we just only need a limited amount of supply then it will affect the whole, yes. whole world yes so it, it will have a tipping point right it doesn't yeah. have to be like seven billion people yeah if you that. if if uh, right now they're over 5,000 of these units around in the world are being used, but far more because people give their friends their cell phone, they marry them, put one on the app, so, and they're doing it, so there's more than 5,000, but there's 5,000, more than 5,000 actual units that have been sold. But the effect of this is far greater than 5,000. And eventually we're going to reach the point, hopefully, where we reach the tipping point, where enough people, the 100th mon monkey sing syndrome, okay, where we tip to the positive and waves and waves of people are going to catch on with this and start using it. Because why wouldn't you? It's inexpensive, it works. Experiment with yourself. One caution, since each of us is unique, what works for one person may not work at all or to the same extent when another person tries it. So you have to experiment what works with you because there's only one of you in the universe, not two of you. So what works on you, you have to find out what works best with you. I have a cell phone tucked in my waistband here, have for a year or more. It's an old i4 cell phone doesn't work takes a charge and the frequencies are in it so i tuck it in the morning when i dress put it in my waistband and forget about it i put it in there 
I have no lower back pains. What is that worth to a person who has who has lower back pains? Right. Interesting. I sometimes have lower back yeah. pains. Mm -hmm. So get get an old cell phone that nothing on it works anymore except it still holds a bit of a charge. Even if it doesn't hold a full charge, don't worry about it. Because you can shut it off. You can shut once you charge it, or if it has a charge, shut the cell phone off and it'll hold that charge because you're not using anything. It'll work with the cell phone shut off. Mm. So I have my phones, I check them every three, four, five months and I turn them on and my God, most of them still have a full charge in them. Well, because they're turned off, but they're working. Mm.